police have confirmed sightings of missing terror suspect Daniel Carlife in Chiswick, West London, as they released a new description of his appearance and clothing. Carlife, 21, a former soldier accused of terrorism and breaching the Official Secrets Act, escaped from HMP Wandsworth on Wednesday morning by clinging to the underside of a delivery van. Ensure you stay well informed by subscribing to our channel, Slant News. We provide the latest, most credible news. Thank you for considering us. He was last seen wearing a prison-issued chef's uniform of a white t-shirt, red and white checkered pants and brown steel toe cap boots. However, police said on Friday that he may have changed his clothes and appearance since then. They said he was now believed to be wearing a black hooded top, black jeans and black trainers. He may also have shaved his beard and cut his hair. Police also released CCTV images of Carlife taken shortly before his escape, showing him carrying a large blue laundry bag. Commander Dominic Murphy, head of the Met's Counter-Terrorism Command, said the bag may contain items that could help identify him or his whereabouts. He urged anyone who may have seen Carlife or the bag to contact police immediately. Murphy said there had been intelligence-led activity and some confirmed sightings overnight in the Chiswick area, where officers were conducting searches and patrols. He said it was perhaps a testament to Daniel Carlife's ingenuity that he had not been spotted by the public despite the extensive media coverage and police appeal. He added that Carlife was not considered a direct threat to the public, but warned that he should not be approached as he may be unpredictable. Carlife is accused of planting fake bombs at a Ministry of Defense site in January and collecting sensitive information about soldiers from a defense database. He is also alleged to have links to Iran, although the nature and strength of those links are unclear. He has denied all the charges against him and was due to stand trial in November. His escape has sparked multiple inquiries into how he managed to evade security at HMP Wandsworth, a Category B prison, and why he was not held in a higher security facility. The Justice Secretary, Alex Chalk, told MPs on Thursday that he had ordered independent investigations into the escape and the risk posed by other high-risk inmates at Wandsworth and across the prison estate. He said he was seeking preliminary answers by the end of the week and that no stone must be left unturned in getting to the bottom of what happened. The Shadow Justice Secretary, Shabana Mahmood, said Carlife's escape simply beggars belief and highlighted catastrophic and multiple failures in the wider criminal justice system. Rosina Allen Khan, a Labour MP whose constituency includes HMP Wandsworth, said she had raised concerns about staffing levels and conditions at the prison in December after just seven staff turned up to guard 1,500 inmates on a night shift. Her concerns were echoed by Sir Bob Neill, a Conservative MP who chairs the Justice Committee, who said problems with staffing at Wandsworth and more widely were a matter of record. The Prison Officers Association also blamed staffing shortages and budget cuts for creating a perfect storm that allowed Carlife to escape. The association's General Secretary, Steve Gillen, said, We have been warning for years that prisons are not safe for staff or prisoners due to chronic underfunding. He called for an urgent review of prison security and resources to prevent further escapes or incidents. Meanwhile, Carlife's family have urged him to give himself up and cooperate with the authorities. His cousin, Sami Abed Carlife, told Sky News that he was shocked by his escape and did not believe he was involved in any terrorist activity. He said, he's not a bad person. He's not violent. He's not aggressive. He's just a normal guy. He added, I just want him to come back safely. I don't want anything bad to happen to him or anyone else. Police are offering a £20,000 reward for information leading to Carlife's arrest and conviction. Anyone who sees him or knows his whereabouts is asked to call 999 or contact Crime Stoppers anonymously on 0800 555 111.